lots of new makeup excited get excited cuz I'm excited <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a beauty haul. I wanted to show you guys all of this makeup that I just got. I did a lot of online shopping this month and I did a lot of drugstore makeup. I also checked out the Dollar Tree too, which I was really surprised about the good quality items that I found at the Dollar Tree. So we're going to get into that. But before I get into the haul video, I did want to mention that I will be uploading Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from now on. I'm trying to take YouTube more seriously. And I want to ask you guys for some video requests. I know some of you guys have requested videos in the past, like my makeup collection video. And some of you guys were asking for the storage from my makeup collection video. But I'm actually getting new storage. So once I have everything situated with that, I will be filming that. And Halloween is coming up. So you guys know I love to do Halloween tutorials. I actually didn't get a chance to do them last year. But this year, I'm going to be doing them. And I have about three in mind. But I want to know more. So give me some Halloween tutorial ideas. You can tweet me pictures of looks and things like that that you want to see and other than Halloween like regular videos I also want to know what you guys would like to see for those type of videos as well because I really just want to make videos that you guys want to see I think sometimes it probably can get a little boring just doing the ones that I like so I kind of want to do some of the ones that you want to see as well PG-13 please yeah let's get into it because it's probably going to be long enough too long at that so but let's let's just do it okay so I've been obsessed like obsessed like completely obsessed with the Dollar Tree hauls that I have been seeing I've been seeing so many Dollar Tree hauls so I decided to go and I decided to pick up a few things and just see what my Dollar Tree had to offer um, because I know some people Dollar Trees had a lot of stuff and you'll be surprised with the amazing things that you can find at Dollar Tree like I found some Milani products I found um, Maybelline you can find Physicians Formula Elf, any type of thing so I was really surprised in the items that I found so I picked up two of these Milani ultra fine liners and I was really surprised when I saw these at the Dollar Tree. I got, this is what this one looks like. It's in sparkling turquoise. It's just a beautiful turquoise color. And you probably can tell that they do have a little bit of shimmer in them. So, And then this one is emerald glisten. I figured this would be really, really pretty for the holidays. So I went ahead and picked this one up. And these are the only two that my Dollar Tree had. So that's why I only got two colors. But I'm pretty sure if I find more of these, I'm going to get them. Because... They're Milani and they're probably amazing. So, and I picked up two baby lips. When the original baby lips came out, I bought like every single color. And now I only have two of those, of all of those lips. Because I use them, I use them in the morning and at night. So I go through them pretty fast. So I picked up two more. I actually picked up three, but I gave one away. Um, this one here, the yellow one is in Fierce and Tangy, which is just a yellow. Um, when I'm pretty sure it shows up clear and then the other one is in pink shock pink shock which is just a pink color. we found two more Milani products I found one of their Milani lip intense liquid colors and I was really excited to find these because when I was watching the Dollar Tree videos a lot of people I mean a lot of people found like every single color of these at their Dollar Tree but I only found this one this is the only one that I saw so I don't know if my Dollar Tree sells them and they just ran out or if someone brought it back to a Dollar Tree and this is the only one that they had but I'm excited to try it out it's in red extreme and it's the first one zero one so I'm excited to try that one out because I heard that they were good and then I picked up this Milani liquid lip color. I don't know. It really just caught my eye. The like mauve color here really just caught my eye. And I, yes, this, this is a lip gloss and it doesn't have a color on it. It doesn't have a color. So we're going to see. Nice little gloss. There, it smells really good. 
It smells like, I don't know, but it smells really good. It smells like some type of food. And then I picked up three of these Maybelline Color Tattoo Pure Pigments. I was really surprised to find these at the Dollar Tree. And these are only three like colors that they had, so I just picked up one of each color that they had. This one is in Black Mystery, and it's just a black pigment. And then this one is in Never Fade Jade. It looks like it's a teal color, but it's in Never Fade Jade. It's really pretty. And then this one is in Pink Rebel. <laughs> pink Rebel, which is like a light pink, but it looks like it has a little bit of purple, like iridescence in it. So that's really pretty. I was surprised to see these at the Dollar Tree because these are still on F's website for regular price. I believe that this one is still $4 on the website. I'm not really sure. But this is their Mineral Eyeshadow Primer. Now, at first, I thought it was the Essentials Eyeshadow Primer, the $1 eyeshadow primer that everyone loves. I have bought in like 50 million of those because at one point in time it was the only eyeshadow primer that I used um, but it's not it's not that one it's the mineral one from the mineral line and I think it's on their site for about four dollars it looks a lot like the other packaging but they're different <laughs> they're not the same and this one is in sheer as well yeah this one is in sheer so this is what this one looks like it's just a eyeshadow primer I mean, I saw it in there and I was like, oh, I get it. I get it. <laughs> this is their eyeliner and shadow shit. shit, shit what? Eyeshadow and shadow stick. That was a tongue. Eyeliner and shadow stick. Yes. Their eyeliner and shadow stick and purple plum. And I think it's an eyeliner and an eyeshadow. I think one side is an eyeliner and the eyeliner, yes, it says the liner is in plum and it's just a plummy color. I don't know why I'm swatching this. Oh, this is really pretty. That's really pretty. And then the other side is called shadow and it's in purple. This is pretty as well. It's like a light purple. I don't know. I love the liner though. But if you can see, I don't know if I'm feeling the eyeshadow, really. But I'm really feeling that liner. That's really pretty. And it was only a dollar. So yeah, so that's everything that I bought from the Dollar Tree. I found a lot of good items there. Because you never know what you're going to find. You never know. <laughs> so I did a lot of drugstore shopping. I'm going to get into that. And then I'm going to do the online makeup. My sister and I went on a hunt to find the Milani Amore liquid lipsticks because I found two at my CVS that I go to all the time like all the time and I didn't even know that they sold them at CVS because if you remember back in my haul last month well in the month before last you know that I said that I went there looking for these and they didn't have them but they were Walgreens exclusives at that time and now my CVS has them they had two of each color but they all had these two left in the store like these were the only two left in the store not just color wise just all together these were the only two so I grabbed them I grabbed them because I was like I want them so my sister and I went to 50 million CVS stores or well, not that many but a lot of CVS stores and Walgreens up and down Columbia so I was like and we did not find them anywhere so I am just literally stuck with these two I know Milani website has them in stock but I wanted Crush and Embrace and I think Crush is on that site but Embrace is not so I think I'm just gonna be stuck with these two until they get more or however they go but I found these two so I'm happy that I found at least two you know um, but the two that I got are in Flirt, and Flirt is just a really, really pretty folly color. <laughs> it looks a lot similar to the lip color I'm wearing today, but this is, I'll show you guys what this is later on in the haul. But I haven't even opened these yet, and this is Flirt. I'm just going to show them to you guys, and I'm going to open them later when I do the swatches. 
but it's really really pretty you can see that oh that's really pretty i can't wait to wear that one and then this one i really didn't want it but i was like i'm gonna get it because i wanted all of the colors in the collection so i can do a swatch video but because it's like literally h-e-l-l -L trying to find them i just gave up really just gave up and this one is desire so it's like a red color because I just feel like I have so many red lipsticks. That's why I kind of didn't want it. But a lot of times I get my makeup from CVS and Walgreens. Just because I almost always have coupons for CVS. Like literally every week there I have a coupon for like $5 or $3 or $4 off of $15. So you do that. You go in there and get that. And then you can always get like cash backs, cash bucks rewards. So I'm always shopping at CVS. <laughs> But I saw that they were having like a little deal on their Ardera lashes. These are the Demi Wispies Black. And I got the four pack. Now if you're familiar with these, you know that these range for about $9.99. You can basically get them from anywhere that sells lashes. So I picked these up. They were a buy one, get one half off. So I got eight pairs of lashes for $15. Yes, $15. I was like, yes. And when my sister and I was on our little hunt for the Milani lip creams, I figured that I would just get something so the trip wouldn't be a complete waste. So, uh, one of the Walgreens, that, I think all of the Walgreens was having the sale, but I just picked it up out of the last one that we went in. Um, they were having a 50, buy one, get one free? Buy one, get one half off. Yeah, buy one, get one half off of their Wet n Wild products. So I picked up a few Wet n Wild Fergie products. I picked up this Wet n Wild Fergie eyeshadow palette. I figured this would be so pretty for the fall time. It's in the color Desert Festival. But I mean just look at this palette. Doesn't that just scream fall to you? Like that orange is so freaking pretty. Um, But this is what the palette looks like here. It's just so freaking pretty. I mean look at that. I want to see how pigmented it is as well. I'm excited. It's about five shadows in here, and all of these, from the looks of it, they're all about pigmented. So I'll just swatch. Yes, and they're so like creamy, like buttery feeling. No, oh, this is nice. And then I picked up one of their highlighters. Now you guys know that I have ran it about Wet n Wild's packaging, but I like the product. You guys know that I have a highlighter like this in champagne no rose champagne which is beautiful it's one of my favorite highlighters i use it all the time even though the packaging is jacked and the highlighter is all over the place i still use it because it's beautiful so i picked up another one this one is in hollywood boulevard look at how gorgeous that highlighter is so you guys know i'm always like in love with highlighters and i'm always like just down for the Look at that. It's so freaking pretty. You guys know I'm always down for the glow, but I am loving this. It's so gorgeous. So pretty. That is gorgeous. I am in love with that highlighter. I mean, just look at it. So freaking pretty. And then I picked up two of these Wet n Wild Velvet Matte Lip Colors. I haven't really heard much about these. They say new on them, so I'm guessing that they're new. But you know how sometimes they have new on the packaging and it's not new. It's been out for a minute. Hint, hint, elf. They do that all the time. <laughs> so, I don't really know how new these are. Alright, this one is in Timeless Chic. And it looks like a nudie brown color. It looks really, really pretty. So, I'm excited to actually try this one out. Yes, it just screams Kiwi, right? It just screams Kiwi. That's really pretty. And then the other one that I got is Plumagine or Plumagine? Plumagine? I think it's Plumagine. Alright, and then this one is like a plummy, like a plummy brown. <gasps> Did it break? this is that one there, so I don't know if I'm really feeling that one as much. I don't know if it's because it's what just happened to it or what but I don't know. Alright and then everything else is from Walmart. So this goes to show it's a lot. It's a lot. So let's get into this. 
All right, so the first thing is the Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara from Maybelline. I think this is their newest mascara. I don't really know much about it. I haven't heard much about it. I'm one of those people that just feels like they need all of the newest mascaras out. You guys saw my makeup collection, you know that my mascara is like one of my biggest sections in my makeup collection. And it's because I just feel like I need the newest drugstore mascara because the drugstore mascaras are really, really good. So this is the latest one that's out. This is the Fawcett's Push Up Drama Mascara. So it says that it has a push up cup brush. So I don't really know, but I'm excited to try this out. Next thing is the ELF High Definition Powder and this one is in Corrective Yellow. I was really excited when I saw this powder in Walmart because I thought the only place you could get it was from online. I was really excited to like be able to get this powder from Walmart because I thought the only place you could get it from was online but obviously I was wrong and it comes with one of those little sponge things. I actually really really like these because I have this powder in sheer and the other one came with this one but it's just a yellow powder so yeah I'm excited. It looks like there's nothing in here. Picked up one of the Infall L'Oreal Infallible Pro spray insects. This is the trial size of it. Follow Katie Luxure Lux on Snapchat and she picked up like the trial size version of this and I was like what? They have a trial size? And I've been wanting to try it. I just haven't been wanting to pay $20 for it. So, I was really excited when they came out with the little trial size. It says you get a one month supply. So, I'm excited to try this out and see if it's as good as everybody and their mom is raving about it. And I pick up the foundation that kind of goes with it. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte foundation and I got this one in 111 soft stable I think it's the right shade for me I'm pretty good at like eyeing foundations for me especially in the drugstore but this one I was a little off because of this so I had to kind of do my research on this one and everybody that's like around my skin tone kind of uses 111 or 110 and my Walmart didn't have 110 so I picked up 111 and I'm hoping it works it looks like it's gonna work out good so I'm excited to try this out I am gonna do a review on it for those of you guys that want to see a review on it so I know everybody and their mom has been raving about this foundation lately so I've been I had to pick it up right I mean you just, I just had to staying with foundations I picked up another foundation this is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation another new foundation that's out I got this one in 90 Warm Honey I'm excited to try this out because I've heard amazing things about it which is really sad because when I got it home it was open and I hate when people open foundations and stuff like that in the store and they don't buy it like I just I hate when people do that but it's all good it's all good I picked up a couple of concealers because if you guys watch my favorites video you know that I said that my prolonged wear concealer just wasn't kicking it anymore especially with my Ben Night Banana Powder so I kind of picked up a few drugstore concealers to try out I figured I would just try a drugstore and then move on to power in once I like if I don't really find one at the drugstore that I'm feeling so the first one that I got is the one that goes with the foundation I just showed you is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin um, Concealer and I picked this one up in medium and I kind of got it to like highlight with but I'm not really sure if I want to highlight with it or if it's going to be like really close to my skin tone. I don't really know. I don't I don't know. <laughs> so most of the time I get my concealers in medium so it kind of works out good sometimes i have to get the next one after medium and mix the two together but i think i'm gonna i think this one would be good then i picked up this concealer this is the maybelline master conceal concealer i've heard amazing things about this concealer like everybody their mom literally raves about this concealer so i had to pick it up and try it out for myself and again this one is in medium the last concealer that i picked up is the maybelline fit me concealer now i have this concealer already i just picked it up in a lighter shade i have it in 35 deep i believe and the concealer numbers is so weird for this concealer 30 is actually darker 
than 35 which is kind of weird but I picked up this one in 25 which is a medium shade again I have it in deep already but I just went ahead and I picked it up I have another wet n wild product and I actually found this at Walmart I haven't really heard anything about these um, until after I bought it I did my research on it after I bought it but these are the wet n wild color icon contouring palettes and I got this one in caramel toffee I'm not really sure if they have multiple colors or how that goes but I don't know I'm really excited to try it out it looks like it's gonna be pretty so ooh, this is pretty it's like a cool tone like bronzer like so it's gonna put that like ash back into your face I think it's gonna be really good to contour your nose with the powder is actually really really creamy so I don't know if it's really, really pigmented, but I don't know if it's because I stuck my finger in this only. You see? I don't know. Um, Black Radiance products. Now, if you follow me on Snapchat, you know the deal with me and Black Radiance and my little rant on it on Black Radiance. Uh, color selection I feel like they are a woman of color line but they don't really cater to lighter skin tone women which is doesn't seem fair um, but yeah so I could just be speaking on the Walmarts and what the stores that I've seen like in my area um, all of the other stores could have shades so I'm not speaking on all of them but from what I've seen they don't really have like foundations to match us I really I had the BB cream matter of fact and I had to take it back because it was like the second shade and it was too dark I did find some products that I'm interested in this is the artisan color bait blush I don't know if you guys follow Rose Kimberly or Kimberly Rose Rose Kimberly here on YouTube but she actually did a blush and bronzer video and she mentioned this blush in there and I was like I want to try it out it's pretty so at the store I was thinking it was gonna be a little too blushy for me because I mean imagine this on my cheeks but if you swatch this like you can't even you can't you can barely even tell that it's there and I like that I like the fact that it's not really showing up that much on the skin because it gives you like enough of the redness to give you like a fleshy look you know and I think this will be really really pretty on darker skin tones and as far as like me I think it would work to be nice I may have to use a light hand I've never swatched it with a blush so, I mean with a brush so I'm not really sure how it's gonna look with that blush but so far I do like it and I figured that if it didn't work out as a uh, blush I could use it as an eyeshadow or something like that so picked up this this is the soft focus finishing powder and I picked this one up to bronze with this one is a 9203 milk chocolate finish so I believe this is the third shade in the bunch if I remember correctly it looks nice like it's gonna be a nice bronzer two lipsticks from the beauty supply store i just really wanted to throw these in here um i got these these are from the brand absolute new york they were by the register they were only 2.99 so i figured that i would go ahead and pick two of them up the first one that i got is in royal purple and my little cousin actually picked this one out it's just like a purple color i actually thought it was going to be a little bit darker than what it is but it's still really pretty it's actually really really pretty so I got that one and then the other one is in dark plum which is like a plummy color and that's it all right so moving on to online items and then we are done this palette so if you guys watched my last lip swatch video it was on this this is the morphe brushes lipstick nick palette when i saw that they were coming out with this i had to grab it i just had to it has 10 lipstick shades in it beautiful lipstick shades and i will link the swatch video below and i probably have a little clip of it somewhere here but i really enjoyed making that video if you can't tell but it's actually really really pretty beautiful shades they're so fun to play with i think these will be great 
for like if you're into lip art or if you just want to try out bold new lip colors for yourself you can mix colors together it's just it's an amazing palette to have so i picked this one up and this is actually what i'm wearing on my lips today i actually have this color this color and this color mixed together it's mainly this color i have a little bit of this one and this one on the bottom lip and i like it this is what i'm wearing on my lips today and this palette is amazing i will link it below um if you guys are interested in checking it out i believe it still is in stock it is a limited edition palette so you might want to go ahead and try to get your hands on it before it goes away because it's gonna go away clarity cosmetics actually sent me this brush set and it just looks like this it looks like this right here <laughs> so, you know this is what these brushes look like you get 12 brushes and i'm really excited to try these brushes out i'm gonna do a video on them they will be up wednesday it will be up wednesday but i'm really excited about this because i have a fan brush to highlight with but i want to show you guys what the packaging looks like of the like the candles they're just black and white and they have clarity cosmetics on it and they're like that on all 12 of the brushes so you get a good amount of brushes you get some powder brushes a lot of eye brushes again that will be up wednesday because you guys know i'm on the roll with my videos so i ordered this lipstick from melt cosmetics this is my first ever lipstick from melt cosmetics and i only bought one because i was thinking i don't know what if they're not good they're 20 dollars so i don't really know but I should have bought more something told me kiwi buy more and i didn't I didn't and i should have <laughs> but i picked up one if you guys follow milk cosmetics everywhere or basically any youtuber you know that they came out with their new collection their nood collection and they came out with four nude lipsticks and this one is the darkest nude of the bunch it's not a nude for me but it was it's pretty so i got it this one is in cat soup and it's just a brown lipstick it's so freaking pretty this is the lipstick that i was wearing in my favorites video a lot of you guys thought it was stone mixed with something else and another one of my videos you thought my lipstick was stone but i actually don't own stone at all i don't own the lip liner or the lipstick from stone or from mac so yeah but this is what i was wearing in the last in my favorites video it's just this brown lipstick here and it's so freaking gorgeous I actually wore this twice i wore this on labor day weekend as well it's just a beautiful brown lipstick i ordered on sasha cosmetics i was really excited to try i feel like i'm saying i was really excited for everything because i am <laughs> this is the sasha cosmetics buttercup setting powder everybody and their mom literally has been raving about this setting powder they were saying it's better than the big night banana powder and it's this that and another so i was like okay i'll pick it up i'll try it out and see if it's just as amazing as everybody is saying it is and i haven't tried it yet but i'll let you guys know um, but it says it's a finely milled flesh friendly powder so you won't look white or ashy in bright lighting and photos so i'm excited to try this out and again i'll let you guys know if i like it or not and when i placed my order they actually sent me a lipstick for free i think it was a deal that they had going on um and i thought it was pretty cool because i never tried sasha cosmetics products before so it's kind of good for people like me you know you're giving away free lipstick if they like it they can come back and order more electric avenue and it's just a like it kind of reminds me of rubble from mac a little but it's a matte form it's not a satin like rubble is but look at that it just screams fall scream slow but it's really really pretty i placed an order on gerard cosmetics website and i was really excited for this my face just went <laughs> just now but i ordered one of their star powders and it's funny because i saw it on makeup shayla and ella rear but and it looked beautiful on you then after i placed my order and i got mine in the mail i started seeing it in a bunch of people favorites video i saw it in each of b's favorite video um i saw it in one of jackie's videos i saw it in one of the glam twins videos so i was like i think i made a good choice 
So I tried it out. It's beautiful. If you're wanting a color and you're looking for the perfect highlighter, this is it. It's in the color Lucy and it's absolutely beautiful. I highly recommend this highlighter. It is so gorgeous. I wore it and it was so funny because I love Gerard Cosmetics. They're so sweet. And I wore it and then they, were, they said, they tweeted me something. I don't know, but it was really cute and I just thought it was funny. So they're just the sweetest company ever so i'm always supporting them but this highlighter is beautiful so i think you should get it you should get it then i picked up serenity which is the hydro matte liquid lipstick that manny mua created with them and it's just a really nice looks like a nudie pink lipstick that he created manny created with them it actually came out with three hydro matte liquid lipsticks but i only bought one because i never tried you guys know i'm funny funny i'm stingy with my money i just only bought one, just one. this is manny if you guys just in case you guys didn't know who i was talking about when i was excited about manny anyway this is him he created the lipstick with Gerard Cosmetics. I actually ordered two liquid lipsticks from, well, two of their matte lip paints from Colored Rain. You guys know how I feel about Colored Rain. I love Colored Rain and probably in my next couple of hauls you're going to see me buying a few at a time because I love them that much and I want all of them. Um, the two that I got this time are Soul, which is a beautiful, beautiful color. I'm honestly, I don't even know like what color it is. It's giving me like a taupey, purple-ish color. I don't know, but it's so freaking pretty. I saw it on Jasmine Sanders. I believe her makeup artist's name is Priscilla, I think. And it was absolute. She used this on her, and it was everywhere. Like everybody put up the picture, and it was so pretty on her. So I had to get it. It's so pretty. And then I wore. I only wore it once. In love, in love. It's so pretty. And then this one is Mars. And I saw makeup Shayla wearing this one, and it was so pretty on her. So I just went ahead and picked it up. It's just a pinky nude color. It's really simple. Um. This is Anastasia's Beverly Hills Illuminator in the color So Hollywood. If you guys follow Anastasia Beverly Hills, you know the H-E-L-L that broke out when she was trying to launch these. They were having like technical difficulties. People were stripping. They were like, I'm going to take my business elsewhere and blah, 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 blah. It was nonsense. Nonsense. But it wasn't their fault and it was just like basically the IT people needed more time which is totally understandable I guess because I have an IT degree so I can understand that type of thing but yeah I picked I finally got my hands on this one I didn't want to order it off of Macy's because they were available on Macy's you guys probably knew that but I didn't want to order mine off Macy's because Macy's was going to charge me $9 to ship it plus $2 plus taxes when I could have bought it off of Anastasia's website for just $28 free shipping no tax nothing so i bought it from anastasia's website again this one is in so hollywood and can we just take a minute we just need a moment of silence like it is so freaking beautiful like so gorgeous it looks like pure gold like literally it looks like pure gold it's so pretty and i don't want to mess it up like when i bought it when i first got it in the mail i literally did not want to touch it because i didn't want to mess it up that's how pretty it is but this is it here and i just swatch it <laughs> it's so pretty i'm in love with this i'm in love with this they have i think she came out with four she came out with four and i only picked up just this one but it's so pretty i i have to get I don't think I'm going to get a uh, Starlight, I think that's it, but Peach Nectar and Riviera, you're coming to mama. Coming to mama. I actually haven't worn it on my face yet, surprisingly, but it's so pretty. And it comes with this little mirror, and I actually like the packaging of this. So, Last but not least, in this haul, I ordered six of ColourPop's Hydro, no Hydro, six of ColourPop's Ultra Matte Lip 
I'm going to do a swatch video on these seats, so I'm not going to swatch them in this video, but I will show them to you. The first one is in Sunday, and it's just a beautiful magenta color. It has like little hints of violet and blue in it, but it's so freaking gorgeous. Not really a fall color, but it's still so pretty that I don't even care. The next one is Limbo, which is a brown color. I think this was everybody's favorite. Yes, so I picked up that one. And then I got Trap, which is the grayish looking color of the bunch. This is supposed to be the cashmere dupe of the bunch. So, got that one. And then Creeper, which is just a red color. I mean... Like I said before, I have enough red lipsticks, but I still keep buying more. So, this is Creeper. And then, the next one is Kapow. Kapow is actually one of the eight colors, one of the new eight shades that came out. So, this one is a Kapow. It's like a gray taupey color. It's actually really, really pretty. And then, the last one is in Tool or Thule. I don't know, but it's really, really pretty. I just the screams fall to me, so I had to get this one. It's so pretty. These are the six uh, ColourPop shades that I got. I don't know if I want to get more and do the swatch video or just go ahead and do it with these. I think I'm going to go ahead and do it with these. I don't really know yet, but it will be up either this Friday or next Friday, depending on what I decide to do. That is everything that I have been spending my hard earned money that's everything that i have in my haul this month i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys would like to see reviews or tutorials or lip swatch videos or whatever with any of these products let me know i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know some of the things that you guys have been picking up in the drugstore or online lately and yeah don't forget to check out your dollar tree Yes, don't forget to do that. Like I said in the beginning, be sure to leave me your video requests and your Halloween tutorials below or, you know, on social media or whatever. And I think that is about it. So I hope you guys are having an amazing day. If you're interested in this makeup look, definitely check out my Instagram. I will have a list of all of the products that I used on there. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.